hey guys welcome back to sussex squad forever i hope you're all having an amazing day if you're new here please hit the subscribe button and guys karen arms gets a rude awakening she has been a huge supporter of dan wotan and now she is getting a rude awakening after all the stories about the allegations leveled against this man have broken surface someone here on twitter says someone get karen an oxygen machine or an inhaler wow because she cannot believe she chose the wrong side this is what she tweeted oh no this proves harry and megan right and he has links to jason north what is going on i'm struggling right now now she is realizing that she chose the wrong side she chose to support this nasty nasty human being who has been doing all of these things to people and that harry and megan were the one on the right all along it's just crazy how these derangers who are supporting these haters are now realizing that they chose the wrong side and they're now seeing the people they choose to support for who they truly are honestly i want to help all these haters by leaving this clip here for them you should all call the megan markle helpline for all these things that do not make sense all these ridiculous opinions that have no basis you can call the helpline and maybe just maybe someone will listen to all this nastiness that they have to say about the duchess of sussex so what he says i wonder what she'll be saying when byline times tweet their final chapter what a sad karen indeed but welcome her back to earth she put her faith in the wrong people and the wrong couple of royal liquors tough luck karen we were on the side of the truth all along and you didn't believe us so boo hoo to you lol more will follow as karma is on a rampage she's losing the last marble she had left Honestly it's just incredible that all these Dan Wooten supporters all these tabloid supporters are now realizing that Harry and Meghan were on the right and now they're looking stupid because they did not believe what Harry and Meghan had to say on the opera interview on the docu series but instead were bashing Harry and Meghan for no reason and now they're saying that the people they believed are the worst kind of humans I just saw someone on Twitter saying how it's always these people who have something to say about Harry and Meghan, the ones who are abusing Harry and Meghan, who are the worst kind of human beings. Because as you can see guys, Wooton is facing sexual harassment allegations, bullying. It's really crazy. And now this Karen is getting the awakening she didn't think she she should get. The reality that their precious royal family is corrupt is slowly seeping into their subconscious awake state. Good. You know all this deranged haters are now getting what's coming to them because they did not believe the Duchess of Sussex. They have abused Meghan for so long when this entire time she has been telling the truth and now the evidence is here to prove our duchess was right all along the evidence is here to show the world that harry and megan said nothing but the truth in that docu series in that interview and everything else and now these people are mourning and crying because the world has seen them for the fraudsters that they are even this karen cannot believe that her precious wooton is a harasser an abuser a bully so what here says i'm concerned about her she's really struggling to understand she cannot fathom that the person she supported so much is the one who is the most disgusting human being karma 
Someone here says Soros, Soros prayers, Karen. Wow. Huh? And <laughs> this derangers just need a helpline to go and talk about their crazy opinions on an incredible woman who is nothing but successful, kind, genuine, and intelligent. All her costas have something incredible to say about her. All her friends have something incredible to say about her. Meghan Markle is the queen of the people the global queen and these people are just mad because they will never be in her caliber. Meghan Markle is just beautiful, smart and kind and all these haters are just jealous. Someone here says, oh, I knew you are always close to the truth but in self-denial. Yes, Harry and Meghan were telling the truth. Wait, she came back after the whole I will give away all the positions I don't own if Harry and Meghan make it first five years of marriage debacle. <laughs> wow. So guys, Karen Am said she would give away everything she owned if Harry and Meghan split after five years. Harry and Meghan just celebrated their fifth anniversary and they're happy and they're in love and nothing all these haters say is going to break them apart now she's ranting on about how suits did not deserve number one all these things and all that always mad when the duchess of sussex is succeeding because megan will always succeed amid all this hate and it's making this derangers even more mad this is i'm so happy that Megan's success is driving these people wild and now they're realizing that all this time everything they've been tweeting about Harry and Megan has been nothing but nonsense because the queen was telling the truth all this time. When she was asked why she didn't give out the handbag after Harry and Meghan did not split. Guess what she said? She said that it's because the user blocked her and all the excuses. Excuses because she has been caught in a lie that she was trying to sell and now the Sussexes have proven her wrong. Now the world has proven her wrong. The universe is showing them exactly who the grifters exactly who the disgusting human beings are and it's these people they've been supporting and they cannot believe it they cannot believe it you guys it's just insane so guys this karen is getting the shock of her life that her precious wooten is nothing but an abuser and a bully and she cannot believe that the sussexes were in the right this entire time Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. Leave a comment down below on this deranged Karen. Please like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye.